While the Mark V party was going on, I was attempting to discover what it is about these weapons that feels off. Coming to a conclusion took me much more time than I thought it would, even to the point I had to step away. Hell, what you're listening to is now my fourth rewrite. I could have made a shovels video when they released, given you some surface level details, talked about how they feel to wield, and why you should run this talent or perk over other talents or perks. I wanted to play with them for a while. A long while. I've specifically covered patch notes in total twice. I'm not terribly fond of it. I also have yet to give my opinion on something I haven't used for more than a minute. It's not how I do things. I'll preface this discussion we're about to have with the fact that latrine shovels are pretty great when looking at Ogren's arsenal of melee weapons. But in performing this study, in deciding the story I wish to tell here, that story, in my perspective, evolved into something different. There are more similarities than differences across the latrine shovels. Let's compare them from the perspective of the OG, the Mark III. The Mark 19 has four light attacks. Light 1 is identical to Light 3 for the Mark III. Light 2 is the same attack but comes from the opposite side. Lights 3 and 4 are the same as the Mark III's lights 1 and 2. The Mark V also has four light attacks. Light 1 is identical to the Mark III's light 1. Light 2 is the same as the Mark III's Light 3, but is an uppercut instead of a strike down. Light 3 is the same as the Mark III's Light 3, and Light 4 is the same attack but comes from the opposite side. Furthermore, the Mark V's Light 4 is the same attack as the Mark 19's Light 2. The four light attacks from both the Mark V and Mark 19 follow each other and always repeat. The Mark III has three light attacks and will only repeat Lights 2 and 3. The Mark V's Heavy 2 is identical to the Mark III's Heavy 2, and the Mark V's Heavy 1 is the same but comes from the opposite side. Heavy 1 for the Mark 19 is identical to the Heavy 1 for the Mark III, and Heavy 2 for the Mark 19 is the same attack but comes from the opposite side. The push attacks for the Mark V and Mark III are the same, but the Mark 19's is a strike down. The special attack for the Mark III is an uppercut, and the light special attacks and heavy special attacks for the Mark V and Mark 19 are identical. The primary method for damage delivery for the Mark III and Mark V latrine shovels is more or less identical. The light one to heavy two combo. The Mark V has the added bonus of being able to replace light one with heavy one for more damage, cleave, and stagger. The primary method for dealing damage with the Mark 19 is light attack spam. Concerning talents, as an Ogren, it all boils down to one question. How often am I throwing heavy attacks? If the weapon you're wielding lends itself to throwing a lot, your talent tree probably looks similar to this. If it doesn't, I'd bet you're playing Gunlugger. To me, there are a few options to pick from concerning melee-centric talents with the one or two points you have left over. Slam to add impact, Crunch to add damage and impact at the cost of only being useful on heavy attacks while being slow as molasses in doing so, and just getting started for added attack speed. Slam is an interesting talent to me. I'd bet money that according to Fat Shark metrics, a lot of folks pick up Slam. If that's the case, I'd say this is because Big Friendly Rock is quite popular, but locks us into Slam. Taking Soften Them Up is off the table. Unlike the newly reworked veteran talent tree, our blitz ability choice dictates what we have access to. I tend to run bombs away or frag bomb because choosing between plus 25 impact and 15% more damage is an easy one. I choose the damage every time. The unfortunate thing about impact is that it is a stat that we just can't see, so we'll have to test various attacks against every enemy to see what it will benefit. Luckily for you, I've done that, so let's break it down. The Mark V and Mark 19 Shovel's light special attacks will stagger crushers to the head. 
Slam allows body shots with the light special attack to stagger crushers. Slam also allows the Mark 19's heavies 1 and 2 to stagger scab ragers when you hit them in the head, and allows its, the Mark 5's, and the Mark 3's light attacks to permanently stagger scab maulers when you hit them in the head. From my perspective, this is all a bunch of nonsense. Unless you've given up throwing heavy attacks in Darktide for New Year's, you shouldn't be using the light special attack against crushers with the Mark V and Mark 19. You should be using the heavy variant. You can do a lot more against scab ragers with that same attack, so why use plain old heavy 1 and 2 from the Mark 19? Plus, if you don't hit the head, you're likely taking damage without a dodge. And if this is your jam, you should probably take a step back and rethink what you're doing. There are two reasons I would ever throw a standard heavy attack from the Mark 19 against scab ragers and maulers. One, if they're packed into a horde and I mix one in with my light attacks. Or two, it's a follow-up from the heavy special attack against the scab ranger since it's faster and is all that is needed to drop it to the ground. But what about horde clearing, Cash? Slam can help protect me and the team. Well, Slam will let you knock over pox walkers and scab shooters, but only the first when you hit. It will not affect the number of targets cleaved, and all targets cleaved will receive stagger without Slam. So, beyond one pox walker or one scab shooter, your stagger duration will remain the same per strike. The special attack for the Mark V is identical to the Mark 19. The light version will stagger a lot of things, and the heavy version will stagger everything except monstrosities. The special attack for the Mark III is an uppercut. It used to stagger crushers. It can no longer do this. Part of the point in taking the Mark III in the past, other than the fact it was the only latrine shovel available, was the stagger one could achieve with the uppercut. It was superior to all other ogre melee weapons when it came to on-demand, knockdown power. It still can stagger the chaos spawn, but this requires taking slam. I've tried it with an 80% crowd control Mark III shovel without slam. It doesn't work. Slam will allow a mid-rolled crowd control Mark III to stagger a chaos spawn. If you're unaware, stagger locking a chaos spawn also requires a manner in which to stagger it that provides a specific animation. Indomitable, Big Friendly Rock, Big Box of Hurt, and Frag Bomb can provide this animation. I haven't had much luck with Frag Bomb, as the Chaos Spawn tends to spin around, making its front inaccessible for an uppercut follow-up within the required time frame. Big Box of Hurt is quite chaotic, and you have to be kind of lucky. Big Friendly Rock requires a weak spot hit, and it knocks it back a little too far for me to follow up with the uppercut in the time that is required. Indomitable is the easiest and most consistent method by far. I mean, permanently staggering this single monstrosity is about the only point to bringing the Mark III, right? Slam on the Mark III's uppercut also reduces the number of uppercuts required to put certain enemies, such as maulers, on the floor. The Mark III suffers without slam, and thus I find it to be a required talent for it. I see no quantifiable reason to take Slam on the Mark V or Mark 19. They stagger enough within their capabilities and methods of attack. I look at the Mark 19 as a standalone weapon. It is very similar in its implementation to both the Mark II and Mark V combat axes when it comes to lights and heavies. Light attacks are spammable and are the primary method for horde clearing, while heavy attacks are overhead strike downs for those single targets that need to drop. I tend to mix these into my light attacks for picking out targets in a horde as it's faster than transitioning to the special attack. I love this shovel on my gunlugger build as it lets me deal with everything. I use Confident Strike and Skull Crusher. Mine also happens to be rolled well. The plus carapace damage perk with good damage, penetration, and first target modifiers allows me to two-shot crushers to the body using heavy special attacks without thrust or heavy attack damage talents. Maniac Damage allows me to one-shot mutants using a single light special attack. It also allows me to one-shot Dreg Ragers with a heavy special attack. To me, this is a crucial breakpoint, as the recovery window for a light special attack is much faster than that of the heavy variant. Great for waves of mutants. Unarmored Damage on this shovel allows me to one-shot Groaners to the weak spot. If coupled with Brutal Momentum, this will significantly speed up horde clearing. It's a tough choice. 
This is a jack of all trades type weapon, and in my opinion requires the least skill to use while still being very effective against all enemies in the game. I run it specifically on my gun lugger because I don't have batter for bleed from heavies, and I only take smash em and linchpin for toughness generation from the talent tree. My gun lugger is a hybrid build, it's a bit tanky, and this weapon setup allows me to still fulfill the bruiser melee pusher role for the group. The Mark 19 is difficult to objectively compare with the other shovels as it doesn't play well with builds that utilize heavy attacks frequently. Coming up, we'll be looking at some differences in behavior. When I'm comparing two different weapons, I'll be using the formula for percentage of difference. When I'm comparing a weapon to itself, I'll be using the formula for percentage of change. What we'll be looking at specifically is the amount of difference of base attack speed between two weapons of the same attack pattern, or change of attack speed when using just getting started from the heavy hitter keystone of a single weapon using the same attack pattern. I'll be using a timer overlay that I built specifically for this video, but I'm sure it will come in handy later. The timer will begin upon landing the first strike after gaining a full five stacks of heavy hitter for the attack chain we're reviewing. You will not see the build up to the five stacks of heavy hitter, nor will you see the buff icons in the corner. I assure you, they are there, and what you'll see is a result of the just getting started talent in action. There are times in editing videos where I have to speed things up or slow them down to fit with what I'm saying. The other alternative is to show B-roll. This works when I have slightly more or slightly less to say than what is being shown, or, in the case of B-roll, you don't need to see what I'm saying, or the B-roll is showing something in regard to what has already been said. In the case of this video, Often, there is much more to show than needs to be said. I have created another video with all of my data collection in it. You will find a link to it in the description, and I will attempt to link to each specific section in the upper right hand corner. It has taken me a long time to come to this solution. I like to show data to support my arguments, but in this case it has proven to be quite difficult to do so in any format I've previously used. Moving on. Let's have a look at the Mark III and Mark V spades. We'll focus on the light to heavy combo for now as they are basically identical and is what is most often compared. I tested how long it takes to deliver 15 sets of light to heavy combos, so light one to heavy two, with both shovels. The Mark III takes 24.4 seconds to complete this combo 15 times. The Mark V takes 26.4 seconds to complete it. So, the Mark III is 7.88% faster on average than the Mark V at delivering this combo 15 times. Cool. I know when using them, the Mark III feels faster than the Mark V, and this math shows that it is. But it doesn't give us a complete picture. To go from hitting with light 1 to hitting with heavy 2 can vary from 62 to 66 frames for the Mark III and 72 to 75 frames for the Mark V. The Mark III is consistently 10 or so frames faster at executing this combo than the Mark V when looking at the hit indicators. For the average across the 15 attacks for these two shovels, the Mark III is faster by 13.85%. However, when looking at the inverse, or the time between hitting with Heavy 2 to hitting with Light 1, the variability can be anywhere from 36 to 38 frames on the Mark III and 32 to 44 frames on the Mark V. On average, the Mark III is slower than the Mark V when resetting from Heavy 2 back to Light 1 by 4.39%. This last bit, as I'm sure you figured, is less important and impactful than the time it takes to go from Light 1 to Heavy 2. I mean, for the reset, we're talking about a 1.5 frame difference on average. That's 0.025 seconds. You're also not doing any damage in this time frame. But, I wanted to know, and I cut the video to analyze it, so I may as well share it with you. The inconsistency could certainly be due to me, the player. That being said, every single time for 15 combos of Light 1 to Heavy 2, the variability is always around 10, plus or minus 2, frames faster on the Mark III than the Mark V, so I'm pretty consistent there. Remember when I said that the Mark III is 7.87% faster than the Mark V? That is true, at least in my testing if you measure from Light 1 to Heavy 2 15 times. 
So if you kill your target with the Mark III on that final hit of Heavy II, congratulations, you were a little faster in doing so than if you'd killed it with Light I. Here is the difference when looking at 14 sets of this combo that starts and ends with Light I. So Light I to Heavy II to Light I. On average, when going from Light I all the way back to Light I, the Mark III is still faster than the Mark V by 8 frames per combo. These two shovels have almost identical damage profiles for these two attacks. I'd assume they are identical looking at the damage sheets and taking into account the modifier differences between them. Okay, Cash. The Mark III attacks faster than the Mark V and the Mark III requires slam, but the Mark V doesn't. So if I don't take slam on the Mark V and pick up just getting started for the extra 10% attack speed, it should be better than the Mark III, right? Well, I'm glad you asked. I've found that taking Just Getting Started with the Mark V actually increases the time required to execute the Light 1 to Heavy 2 combo 15 times by 1.63%. And it increases the time required to execute Fully Charged Heavy Attack Spam by 0.68%. And Light Attack Spam time to complete is also increased by 0.09%. But let's break it down for a clearer picture of what's going on with light attacks. The first strikes of the four strike light combo for both tests occur at exactly the same time as shown by the attack indicator. We can clearly see that the video on the right is beginning to lag behind the video on the left. Upon reaching the ninth set of four light attacks, we see the greatest separation of the two. The one on the left reaches this attack 13 frames faster than the one on the right. However, judging cumulative frame separation this far removed from the initiating strike, 13 frames seems a little low. This is roughly 24 seconds of light attack spam, and there is only around one-fifth of a second difference between the two. It takes 158 frames from the first strike of the first four-strike light attack chain to the frame prior to the first strike of the second four-strike light attack chain. In other words, 158 frames from hitting with light one to the frame just before hitting with light one again. At a 10% bonus to attack speed, one would assume to see a separation of a cumulative 15.8 frames per attack chain. If we're just starting the ninth set, that means we have thrown eight sets, comprised of 32 attacks in total. At this point, we should be seeing 126.4 frames of separation between the two. The 13 we're seeing is about 10% of that, which is about a 1% increase in attack speed. It gets more interesting from here. The frame difference between the two gets shorter. Here, we only have a four frame separation at the fourth strike of the 11th four strike light attack chain. And by the time we've completed 15 four strike light attack chains, the one on the right, or the one without the attack speed bonus from just getting started, finishes two frames faster than the one on the left. The frame separation value should be 237 frames if we're getting an across the board 10% attack speed increase. Just getting started either doesn't work or the attack window per attack is set and the gaining of attack speed allows the strike to occur more quickly within that window. Not good, to say the least. To be fair, fully charged heavy attack spam on the Mark III doesn't really benefit from the attack speed bonus from just getting started either. Technically, it's 0.5% faster, but who cares? If the attack chain were an entire second long, the difference between them is one third of a frame at 60 FPS. Across 15 heavy one to heavy two combos, you're 16 frames faster, or just over a quarter of a second. That is one fourth of a second faster at executing 30 attacks. Whoopty freaking do. Fortunately, the Mark III's light attack spam and the light one to heavy two combo are both significantly faster with this talent than without it. Light attack spam saw a 9.58% decrease in time required for 15 light attack combos. And the light one to heavy two combo saw a 5.83% decrease in the time required for 15 light to heavy combos. Just getting started 
actually makes the performance of the Mark V worse, especially if you're running thrust and or crunch. Just getting started does not in any significant way speed up how quickly thrust stacks nor how quickly you will execute a fully charged heavy attack on any of the shovels. Now, back to the Mark 19. In my opinion, its attack pattern and manner of use doesn't lend itself well to heavy hitter and the talents that accompany it. I would not run the Mark 19 with heavy hitter. If I did though, I'd find that it behaves the exact same as the Mark V in regard to just getting started for attack speed. In my opinion, like the Mark V, there is no reason to run slam with the Mark 19 latrine shovel. So we've covered slam and just getting started. What about crunch? I have a confession. I don't run crunch on the Mark V. But, but, but Cash, what about the one shot, bro? Well, on my Mark V, I can one shot a crusher to the body with fully charged thrust, five stacks of heavy hitter, and this build. Technically, I can do it with three stacks of heavy hitter with the bleed damage from batter on a weak spot hit. Four stacks, it only requires a body shot plus bleed. If the team is engaged in combat and I have to react to crushers, I very likely have three to five stacks of heavy hitter. If I have zero stacks of heavy hitter when engaging crushers, meaning we're not actively in combat, I'm just going to knock them over with either Indomitable or the Kickback. The team will destroy them and we'll move on. Throwing a heavy special attack upon reaching three stacks of thrust on the Mark V is just over 31% faster than waiting for the fully charged version that will proc crunch. Additionally, there is an inherent problem with throwing multiple fully charged heavy attacks on both the Mark V and Mark 19 shovels. Once upon a time, I made a video about the Grenadier Gauntlet, and in that video, I discussed the hidden heavy attack that comes after Light 1. At that time, pinpointing target behaved like thrust so it added power to these strikes. This hidden heavy attack could only charge to two stacks of pinpointing target. Now, that blessing has been modified, so I have no way of testing if it's been fixed. I assume that it has not, based on the fact that this heavy attack never got the same boost in damage the other heavy attacks did between patches 13 and 15. If your method for employing back-to-back -back fully charged heavy attacks is by holding left click and you're running thrust on either of these shovels, heavy two will only charge to two stacks of thrust. Strangely enough, if you're running just getting started for the extra attack speed, heavy two will sometimes charge to three stacks of thrust. This issue is only present if you are simply holding left click and is not present on the Mark III. If you initiate another click to charge Heavy 2 after coming out of Heavy 1, this problem goes away entirely. However, I find that I will often throw a single light attack if I attempt to perform back-to-back -back fully charged heavy attacks in this manner. Take Crunch if you want. I mean, if you don't have a great shovel, it may be the only way that you can one-shot a Crusher on Damnation difficulty. I find it to be an incredibly situational talent. This is unrelated to talents, but since we're talking about shovels, if you push, say a poxhound, it can be whatever, and immediately begin spamming a left click to attack while the shovel is folded, you will attack with light one, even though your shovel is folded. If you allow yourself time to get through the recovery animation from the push, you will be able to attack as normal. All right, we're done with all of that. What now? What's the point? I mean, other than some broken interactions, like not the good kind of broken, there are some talents you should steer clear of depending on which version of the shovel you're using or until they're fixed. Obviously, you don't want just getting started if you're running the Mark V or Mark 19 shovels. At least not right now. The worst case scenario for it is your attacks will be slower. The best case scenario is that it just doesn't work with these weapons and you've wasted a talent point. Given the fact that across heavy attacks, light attacks, and light heavy combos, every instance tested is slower, I'd say it's the former, but I can't ignore the fact that user input could be to blame. 
honestly, try throwing the light heavy combo 60 times across two weapons without mucking it up. It's tough. Compound that with performing 302 light attacks and holding left click for about 9 minutes for the heavies. There definitely is some of me mixed in there. But I'm not controlling the heavy attacks. That is holding left click. Light attacks are just clicking over and over. In all instances, including everything to do with light heavy combos, it's slower to take just getting started. Just getting started for the Mark III all the way, right? I guess. From what I'm seeing, the light heavy combo is only about half the added attack speed as we should be seeing from this talent. If the description stated that it adds 6% attack speed, would you pick it up? Perhaps. Slam, to me, is unnecessary outside of the Mark III latrine shovel. It does add value. I just don't think the value gained for one talent point is worth it for the Mark V or the Mark 19. Concerning crunch and fully charged heavy attacks, this one is a little less clear cut. I already find myself shorting these when in game, only achieving one or two stacks of thrust at times. Situationally, I may need to stagger one thing and dodge something else when dealing with these damn heretics. The novelty of one-shotting a full health crusher without requiring the buildup of heavy hitter is cool. It really, really is. In my experience, it's an incredibly rare occurrence. Here's how I run the Mark III. Here's how I run the Mark V. And here's how I run the Mark 19. Whoa, hang on, Cash. You run stay close instead of coward calling on a gunlugger build? Not only are you taking a heavy attack centric talent on the Mark 19, but you're also not getting extra damage from suppressed enemies. Yeah, that's another story for another time. In the end, I'm just glad that after all the work Fat Shark has put in over the many patches since patch 7 to increase the threat level of crushers and flak on the battlefield, that we can now rest assured that there is nothing that can permanently stagger crushers. I mean, it would be nice if the Mark III could get back in the game of staggering crushers at all, because, you know, the limp-wristed special attack from cleavers that can't knock over a Dreg Rager can stagger crushers, making the uppercut from the Mark III shovel, especially when bereft of slam, nothing but a paper tiger.